most interesting free agents out there right now, and I'm going to be assigning a club to them. So, of course, there are quite a few good free agents out there still. You do not have a club, and I'm going to go through 10, who I just stress as a recording are still free agents, of course. With this, it could change in an instant, so I tried to pick some which are most likely, I haven't really heard too many rumours about them, so they're most likely going to still be a free agent by the time you see this, but bear that in mind. And uh, yeah, these are 10 of the most interesting ones I thought, and I'm going to assign them a club, say where I think they should go, out, and also where I think realistically they might end. But let me know where you think these players should go, and uh, yeah, let's begin. So, we start with number one, in no particular order, Mats Hummels. After suffering Bundesliga heartbreak with Dortmund at the end of 22-23 season, Hummel signed a one-year contract extension with the German side in May 2023. The experienced centre-back was back to his best last season, putting in some particularly eye-catching displays in the Champions League, with Dortmund reaching the final. They decided it was time to part ways with Hummels in a rebuild and changing of the guard at Dortmund, and despite being aged 35, Hummels showed in his final year at Dortmund that he still has plenty to give. By Leverkusen, have been linked, which would be a fantastic move as a replacement for Jonathan Tarr, who looks like he's joining Bayern Munich. Now, I wouldn't want to see him was go to Saudi or the MLS just yet, because as I said, he has shown he still has at least one more season at the highest level in him. So for me, I want to see him go to another top-level club. He could try go outside the Bundesliga, and test himself, but I don't think that's really realistic. So for me, by Leverkusen makes sense, or maybe a team such as Stuttgart, where he can add much needed experience as they're playing in the Champions League next season. Competition they haven't been in for a long time, a lot of their players haven't been in, so maybe, you know, that elder statesman figure, something like that. Either way, I think Hummels should be staying in the Bundesliga, one more season, at least, because he definitely has something to give at the highest level, but I wouldn't begrudge him either for saying, you know, well, I've achieved everything I could, let me just go into like a semi-retirement and go to a Saudi or MLS. Number two, Memphis Dubai. Dubai initially joined Atletico Madrid from Barcelona in January 2023, but he will not be on the club's books for 2425 after failing to meet requirements to trigger a contract extension. Another club, more brief signs of promise, but ultimately that same feeling of relative disappointment at an under underwhelming spell for Dubai. BSV, Man United, Lyon, Barcelona and Atletico, it's a brilliant career path, but the standard of suitors will surely fall. The Dutchman did offer glimpses, but started just 14 games last season. He showed at the Euros that he is still a capable player, and also the Champions League did well for Atletico, but maybe at the highest highest level isn't quite there yet. I think maybe a return back to France could be good for him, as that's where he really had his best spell as a player in my opinion. A return to Lyon wouldn't be the worst move in the world, I'm not sure they can afford his wage demands, to be honest. If I was PSG, I would actually be tempted to take him, just as a good depth option, because, you know, he can play in multiple p p positions across that front line, and will be relatively cheap, and also, you know, good for the branding, I guess, right, he has a good brand behind him. PSG love that stuff. Although, if I was advising to buy, I would stay clear, because at this stage in his career, he needs to be starting regularly. West Ham has been linked, but I don't think a return to the Brent would really be wise, to be honest. Serie A for me could be a great move, as many 
many players have resurrected their careers there and Roma have been linked. That would be a nice move. We've seen many attackers go there recently and succeed. So for me, I would say either go back to France and take a pay cut. That's really if his motivation is, you know, I want to get back to my best football. Or go to Serie A, to a Roma or maybe an AC Milan um, and try and rebuild yourself there. And if you just want to pay Jeff then go PSG or Saudi Arabia. But those are the options I think for Memphis to buy. Number three, Anthony Martial. It's fair to say that Anthony Martial's career didn't quite go to plan at Old Trafford. The often injured centre forward struggled to make an impact on a consistent basis for United. Given his fitness history and often frustrating performances, it's no surprise United didn't renew his deal. I honestly have no clue how he stayed almost 10 years at the club, but despite the injuries, when fit, we all know he has a lot of ability and can be a great player. He needs to go to a much less physical league where he can get fit, and Syria for me seems ideal. We've seen quite a few previous injury prone players go there and manage to stay fit, such as a Loftus Cheek or a Christian Bulisic. So I think he should go there and give it one last go and see if he can get fit. Roma would be a good fit as they need another striker with Lukaku gone. Same for AC Milan with Giroud gone. Ideally, he would go somewhere like that where he's not relied upon to be the starting striker and when he comes back from injury he can be rotated and eased in. Another option could be going back to France. A return to Monaco potentially. Marseille could be on the cards maybe. Going back to France, similar to Dubai, for me could be the best move. If I was Martial, I personally would would do that because again, that's somewhere where he's thrived. He knows the league very, very well and you know, going back home to France could be the best option for him. Personally, I would love to see him do well as we know he's a great player and if a team can manage him well, they will have a bargain on their hands. So just like Dubai, Serie A or Ligue 1 if I was Anthony Martial. Number four, Joel Matip. Joel Matip's season-ending ACL injury meant the defender ended a premature conclusion to his Liverpool career. While Jurgen Klopp hinted a contract extension, Matip's long-term setback reduced any chances of the Reds retaining him. However, when he's fit, similar to Martial, he is a top defender. He's 32 now, and coming off the back of such a big injury, I wouldn't begrudge him if he said, I'm just going to semi-retire now and go to Saudi or MLS or Turkey. However, from the links recently, it seems he wants to stay at the top level one more time, and I'm down for that. If I, if I was a club looking at him though, it's a huge gamble to take him off the back of such a big injury and with his injury record at his age. So I'm not sure if too many top-level clubs would be interested. Again, I'm sorry to say it, but Serie A clubs love their free transfers, and that could be a good place to go. Lazio have been linked, which would be a solid move. Some Prem teams have also been linked, but for me, I think with his injury record, he shouldn't stay in the Prem and needs to go somewhere less physically demanding. Serie A makes the most sense or as I said earlier just going to somewhere like Turkey or the MLS and basically calling it a day would be a good option for Joel Matip if he really wants to play at the top level Serie A's best option for Matip in my opinion. Number five Guido Rodriguez. The Argentine international and World Cup winner has forged an impressive reputation in Seville establishing himself as one of the best holding midfielders La Liga has to offer. Real Betis were unable to strike a deal over a contract extension though, and Barcelona are lurking as they attempt to secure a deal on the cheap. Barca 
as they do love a free transfer, so, so this does seem the obvious move. However, other clubs such as Liverpool, Milan and Napoli have been linked. He's in his prime aged 30 and a very solid defensive midfielder, so would be a really handy player for most clubs. This is his chance for one big move, so if I was advising him, I would say go to the biggest club possible, where you, where you have a chance of playing. And that's Barcelona or Liverpool for me. Liverpool may be looking for a DM, and Guado Rodriguez is kind of on a similar deal to Endo, but it's probably better than Endo, so this would be a good budget option for them in that DM role. The same can be said for Barcelona, who don't have a lot of money to play with this summer, and could be looking for a DM, so I think he should go to either of those two clubs and really test himself at the highest level because he's been linked with moves away for quite some time now but now's his chance to really prove himself and get that big big move so Barcelona or Liverpool for me and none of them are interested <laughs> Syria number six Kelechi Iheanacho Iheanacho has almost 200 Premier League appearances to his name and certainly has plenty of years left in the tank at the highest level the Nigerian forward, however, has been released by Leicester following a subdued 23-24 campaign in the championship, scoring five league goals in less than a thousand minutes of action. For some reason, he never got the chance to start regularly for Leicester throughout his time, but I've always liked him, as he's always banged goals when he's given the opportunity to do so. Many Prem clubs want him now with the likes of West Ham, Wolves and Forest all looking at him. He should definitely not go to Forest as I think he should be looking at a club where he's able to play at least half of the games available in the season as he's been stuck on the bench for too long now and at Forest I don't really think he's ahead of Tywo or one year when he's fit or even Chris Wood. West Ham would be a good move as he would probably start a lot of games for them. Although, I reckon they're probably going to bring in another striker to compete with him. However, I think Wolves makes the most sense. They have a good record under O'Neill of making attackers do well, with Gunya, Huang and Neto all thriving under O'Neill. And I think he would also get the best out of Ian Hatcho. With all three of those, three fairly injury prone, or at least getting injuries last season, Ian Atcho will have plenty of minutes if he was to join. So Ian Atcho to Wolves is the move, in my opinion. Number seven, Wilfred Ndidi. Hey guys, um, so whilst editing this video, I recorded this quite a long time ago. Yeah, as you can see, Wilfred Ndidi sign a new contract with Leicester so yeah unfortunately it's, it's just, I'm just gonna remove like his part because everything I see in his part is just completely irrelevant but yeah just one less player um let's just skip ahead and go number eight Delhi Alley the former Tottenham and England midfielder is a very interesting one as he didn't play for Everton this season after spending the previous one on, out on loan in Turkey of course, he opened up about his mental health problems and childhood this season. That's a large reason why his career has gone so left. But Delhi has spoken about how he's on the comeback trail and wants to return to football again at the highest level. We all know he has the ability. It was really just the mentality which was a problem. But it seems mentally he's in a much better place right now and is hungry to succeed again. Crazy enough, he's still only 28, so he has plenty of time, and I'm really, really interested to see where he goes. I'm not sure a Premier League move would be wise, as even though he has the quality, he hasn't played much football in the last two years, and has struggled with injury and fitness, so I think he just needs to go somewhere at a bit of a lower level, and build up his fitness and sharpness, um, and get back into the swing of things, really. The championship may be a decent move for him, going to a 
a promotion Jason team such as a Burnley or even a Luton, as we've seen Ross Barkley manage to turn his career around there. A move abroad to Serie A may make sense to potentially Como under Cesc Fabregas. Personally, I do think a top-tier championship size such as Luton or a Leeds makes the most sense as you can kind of go out the spotlight a little bit, focus on fitness and playing games and rebuilding himself. And in the championship with his quality, he could really, really pop off and that would be a great way to get his name back in the hat for some big moves. To go into a top-tier championship side for me would be the best option for Delhi, but this is one which I'm probably the most fascinated to see what happens with him. Number nine, Adrian Rabiot. Once frequently chastised by Juventini, Labio has slowly built up his reputation in Turin, and last season was undoubtedly his best in Syria. Rabiot was all set to be a free agent last summer until he agreed to kick the can down the road for another year, presumably with a view to keep the hope he might one day join Man United, who were very close to signing him last year. Talks are open over a two-year contract this time, with the midfielder happy to stay on the right terms. Liverpool and Milan have been linked, but UV are still expected to emerge as Rabiot's first choice. That being said, Juve may now be prepared to walk away from the deal if Rabiot demands too much. With Kevran Duram and Dr. Louise signed, Juve seem like they are preparing for life without Labio. At age 29, Rabiot has one last big contract in him, and I do think with Duram and Louise in, he should leave Juve and go somewhere where he would play a regular starting role. Liverpool is a no for me. I don't think he suits the system. AC Milan would be decent, but I don't know if they can afford his wage demands. Man United could go back in for him, and to be honest, I don't think that's the worst move in the world for all parties. However, a club where I see him fitting in perfectly is Atletico Madrid. I don't know what it is, but Rabiot just screams like a Simeone Atletico player. I think he would work very well there and play most games for them, as they're looking for another sentiment right now. So for me, it definitely won't happen, but Atletico Madrid is the move. If not, Man United or lower your wage demands go to AC Milan, but personally, I don't think he should be staying at UV. Okay, last player then, number 10, Mario Hermoso. Diego Simeone has to rebuild his back line this summer, and although Hermoso is a valuable player, Atleti were unable to strike a deal and he'll be leaving the club on a free transfer. Now Hermoso is in high demand, and one of those whose future could be sealed by the time you see this with a whole host of clubs wanting him. They range from Forest, Villa, Napoli, Inter, Saudi Arabia to Barcelona. They're very interested in the versatile 28 role and he's a very good player. And the main reason people want him is because as I said he's super versatile. He can play pretty much anywhere across that back line so naturally many clubs are interested and he would be useful for many clubs. Now. At one point, it appeared set in stone he would join Inter, but apparently they have pulled the plug on this deal because of his wage demands. So, with those high wage demands and potentially the Inter deal off the table, I think the Premier League could be his best option. A Prem club would most likely give him those wages. Aston Villa could be decent working with Emery, we've seen what he's done to the likes of Pal Torres. Although I'm not sure he starts regularly for them, and at his age I would, I would suspect he would want to start, and they probably wouldn't give him the wages if he wasn't going to play regularly. Nottingham Forest seems like the most Nottingham Forest move ever, and is very realistic, especially if they lose Murillo. Now realistically, it's clear at his age, 
almost who kind of just wants a big paycheck and doesn't really care too much about his career. Otherwise, he would have gone to Inter, as that's the perfect move for him, really. But if he wants a big wage, that's perfectly fine, too. I don't, I, I don't judge him on that. So based on that, Nottingham Forest is the move, or even Saudi Arabia. I also think Newcastle could be a good shout, because they have Botman and Lascelles both out with ACL injuries, so need another centre-back to cover, and Amoso would be great. So Forest or Saudi, if he wants the paycheck. Newcastle, if he wants the career move. But there we go. Those are the ten. Let's quickly run through them and where I think they should go. So Mats Hummels stay in the Bundesliga by Leib Gugin or Stuttgart. Memphis to buy, go to Serie A clubs such as Roma or AC Milan or go back to France. Same thing for Anthony Martial, go out the deep Serie A club or go to like the MLS Saudi. Guido Rodriguez, Barcelona or Liverpool. Galecci, Iheanacho, Wolves, Delhi Alley, a top tier championship side like a Burnley, Luton, Leeds, Achlian, Labio, Atletico, Madrid, or AC Milan, a Mario Hermoso, Newcastle, or Nottingham Forest. So there we go. Do you agree with those clubs? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please do leave a like. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you in another video.